chronic exertional compartment syndrome of the leg. In chronic exertional compartment syndrome of the leg, the patient usually complains of pain of the involved compartment. Chronic exertional compartment syndrome of the leg is commonly seen in running athletes. It is an exercise-induced condition that is believed to be caused by muscle swelling during activity with hypoperfusion of the muscles and the nerve within the involved compartment. The pain is usually burning in nature. It is the anterior compartment of the leg that is typically involved. This pain worsens with activity and subsides almost completely within 15 to 30 minutes after stopping the activity. A high index of suspicion is needed for the diagnosis of this condition. Measuring the pressures is important. The pressure values are usually diagnostic. So you measure the pressure one minute and five minutes after exercises. The pressure of 30 millimeter mercury one minute after exercise and a pressure of 20 millimeter mercury five minutes after exercise is usually diagnostic. The condition is usually not associated with the classic findings of acute compartment syndrome. So you may not find the anterior leg pain with passive dorsiflexion of the toes. You may not find the sensory loss in the first web space. What is the most clinical important finding in chronic exertional compartment syndrome of the anterior compartment of the leg? Measuring the pressure. When you measure the pressure, the pressure will be 30 millimeter mercury or more at one minute after exercise. The typical complaint of a patient is ache in the leg with burning pain. The symptoms usually begin about 10 minutes into the run and slowly resolve about 15 to 30 minutes after the run. The patient will decrease the running distance, but that doesn't help the symptoms. Sometimes the patient complains of tingling over the dorsal aspect of the foot when the patient is running. And when you examine the patient, the patient will have mild, diffuse, non-specific tenderness over the anterolateral leg and there is no focal point tenderness over the bone itself. The pulses will be normal, x-rays will be normal, bone scan or MRI will not show a stress fracture. Patients usually had therapy of stretching and strengthening. The therapy does not work and the pain continues without relief. The patient cut the running distance into half because of the increased symptoms. So what do you do? You measure the compartment pressure before and after exercise. Usually the treatment is release of the involved compartments. During release of the lateral compartment, care must be taken to avoid injury to the superficial perineal nerve, which pierces the fascia about 10 to 12 centimeter proximal to the tip of the lateral malleolus. Injury to that nerve will cause numbness at the top of the foot. Surgery by doing fasciotomy is usually successful in the majority of patients, but the recurrence rate is high, approximately 20%. The recurrence occurred due to fibrosis and the scar formation within the facial compartments that can result in recurrence of symptoms or entrapment of the nerve. 
The recurrence usually occur after initial symptom-free period, usually approximately two years after the index operation, then the recurrence of the symptoms occur. There might be other causes for recurrence of the symptoms, such as wrong diagnosis, nerve compression, inadequate release, failure to recognize and release other involved compartments. The problem with chronic exertional compartment syndrome of the leg is the differential diagnosis is large and there's a lot of overlap in the clinical symptoms between other potential clinical entities. One of them is medial tibial stress syndrome in this situation, the patient will have bony tenderness along the posterior medial tibia. If the pain persists, then you will get bony scan or an MRI to confirm the diagnosis and to see if there is any occult stress fracture. Another area of diagnosis may be suspected popliteal artery entrapment. It's a dynamic exercise related vascular phenomena. But in chronic exertional compartment syndrome, the patient will have that situation for a long time. The patient can predict the time when the pain will come and when the symptoms will be relieved. It has a predictable time course for onset and for relief of symptoms. The diagnosis can be made through direct measurements of the compartment pressures before, during, and after exercise. The diagnostic criteria for chronic exertional compartment syndrome is pressure more than 15 mm mercury at rest or more than 30 mm mercury at one minute post exercise or more than 20 mm mercury at five minutes post exercise. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.